Hello everyone, I'm the Dino Game and welcome back to another car crash video. In today's video, we'll watch the upcoming car crash in real time and slow motion from three different perspectives. So, the external view you're seeing right here, the driver's perspective, and the top view, which is by far the most interesting to see any car crash. So, hope you enjoy. First up, we watch from the external view in real time. Thanks to this super steep incline, you can reach speeds of much over 250 km an hour. One thing for sure, you don't want to be in either of these vehicles in this situation. Don't think it's survivable, especially with that force of that change in G-force and impact. The bottom just goes quite up into the air and we do a few flips and we eventually come to a rest. Surprisingly enough, everything's not totally broken, so I guess that's some positive. Now we'll watch this what happened in slow motion. Pause. And 16 times regular speed. Take a good look at a dummy, what happens to him. He doesn't go into motion until after a pickup truck actually impacts him. So that's a clear unsurvivable car crash for him. And we actually flip over. Consider. The trunk is still in the air, the trunk covering. And it finally lands after we move so far away from the impact site. So you'll see why the top view is the most interesting now. It gives you a really good view of how far both cars move. And that's a bunch of debris along the way. And we stop. Now we'll take a look at the car crash from the driver's perspective in real time. Cast internals, quite broken, but not as bad as you'd have expected, actually. Now the same view, but in slow motion, of course. And impact. That's the trunk up in the air. And what comes up must go back down. That's one of our mirrors about to break as we hit the ground. Yep. Surprisingly, we only flipped once. And that's the car, we're upside down, we could just barely see it as we move just slightly further away from the impact site and we eventually come to a rest. Now, we'll take a look at the car crash in real time from the top view. Yep, we moved so far from the impact site after hitting. Which means it wasn't a direct hit, we were slightly off center, but of course, still so devastating. So now we'll watch the same view, but in slow motion. You can actually see some slight bending to the pickup truck after impact. And of course, the car is hugely misshapen. That's where we impacted, left basically a hole. And 
we see some debris sliding along the road until we eventually come to a stop so thank you for watching today's video if you enjoyed it please consider leaving a like subscribing and until next time i'll see you later bye for now